hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss an important concept in performance boosting in canvas apps so as because we are creating so many power apps using canvas apps in our business so performance is very important important point that we need to consider before designing any app so how to boost performance there are many other ways available that you can learn but this is very important that you can implement in your project so let us first tell you how the performance is impacted and how you can resolve it let's take a button in your app so let me this is my screen and i want to take a button for example so i will take a button here and i will give the button name as uh, let's say get data okay and I, I can change the size of the text as get data now what i want to read i want to read two uh, two collections from that data tables i have two tables here student and courses so these are two tables in my dataverse so i want to read all students in all courses and keep it in a collection um, variable when someone click the button so what i can do i can go to one select and type clear collect and give a variable name let's say uh, call student this is my collection and i want to read students now this will create a collection variable called as call student and store students information then next i want to add another call collection clear collect and i want to use call courses and assign the courses table right so these two power effects assign two collections and keep the students records in those in student collection and course uh, records in course collection right on the clicking of this button but let us understand what time it takes while getting the data from the database and keeping in the collection so let us create some variable to calculate the time yes i want to initialize a variable let's say uh, bar start time okay and i have to assign this with the current time using now you can assign the current time and after the end of this collection i want to set another variable called as uh, bar uh, end time or bar total time taken and what it will uh, what what is the value of total time taken i can take a text uh, power fx and i i can use date date difference what date reference first is the start date is equal to the variables per start time then the second parameter is the end date what is the end date the current current time because once it is completed there will be a current time then i want to take the difference between those those two times using milliseconds so that i can understand how many milliseconds is invested for this uh, operation so i can close the bracket now this variable stores the total time taken to perform this two process collect collecting students and collecting courses so let us take a variable i want to take a uh, sorry let's take a uh, label and change this size as 60 so that it will be displayed as a bigger size okay and in the text property just assign the variable for total time taken right so let us check uh, once we click the button uh, when it will uh, read the student records and course records and collect the data in the variable how much time it takes let us run it and test this click the button and see what happens you see guys it takes 1165 milliseconds to process the record that means to get the record records from database and assign in the variable now the same so here we are not using any technique to boost our performance so let us uh, uh, use some technique here to boost our performance 
let me change this let me note this uh, in a notepad so that we can analyze so first it take one one six five millisecond without uh, performance boosting technique next let me do some technique here the technique is called as concurrent what i can do i can go here and keep the collections clear collections inside a concurrent power fx so inside concurrent power fx i can put both clear collect using comma okay so concurrent clear collect and another student is clear collect So here I am using the same variable for start time is now and inside concurrent I am using the clear collect to collect the student then I am using another clear collect to collect the courses right and I am closing the bracket here with a semicolon so this is the first uh, clear collection clear collect and second clear collect collect here then we are using the total time let us see using concurrent concurrent can it can it boost the performance let us see now go here and again run it and test this you see guys 485 milliseconds taken so if you compare 485 it it gives you 50 percent uh, higher performance right or uh, you know uh, 70 percent higher performance so when we extracted the data initially without uh, our performance boost technique it takes 1165 millisecond but um, in concurrent or technique used concurrent technique it is very very minimized and it took only 485 millisecond so you understand the exact difference between these two using without concurrent and um, with using concurrent so which is faster which can boost our performance in our app using concurrent right so concurrent will help you to boost your performance while designing your canvas apps so thank you guys for your time. I hope you can implement this concurrent uh, technique while designing Canvas app. See you again. Bye.